Hi, everybody. My name is Jennifer Cooper with JKC Mobile Notary, and welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we're going to dive into the important topic of notarizing power of attorney documents. As professionals entrusted with the responsibility of verifying legal documents, it's essential for us to understand the intricacies of notarizing power of attorneys. So if you're ready, I'm ready. Let's get started. Okay, guys, so first let's understand the power of attorney documents. So before we dive into the notarization process, let's refresh our knowledge of power of attorneys. You guys have seen power of attorneys or you work with power of attorneys, you know this, but let's just go over it. A power of attorney is a legal document that grants someone else known as the agent or attorney, in fact, the authority to act on behalf of another person in various matters. These matters can range from financial and legal decisions to healthcare and real estate. Okay, so let's talk about the significance of notarizing power of attorneys. Notarizing a power of attorney holds immense significance as it adds credibility and authenticity to our document or to the document, not ours. By performing our role as notaries, we ensure that the signer's identity is verified, their consent to sign, the consent to sign the document is voluntary and the document itself meets the necessary legal requirements. Having us there helps the person giving over their power of attorney. Okay, so let's talk about the benefits of notarization. Firstly, notarized power of attorneys have a higher degree of acceptance and validity. This becomes crucial when presenting the document in legal proceedings. Secondly, notarization serves as a different, or well, not different, a deterrent against fraud and coercion, ensuring the integrity of the document. The role of notaries in the power of attorney, the role of notaries in power of attorney notarization um, is pivotal. When presented with the power of attorney, we um, verify the signer's identity, witness their signature, and confirm their willingness to sign the document. Then finally, we stamp the document for our notarization. Let's talk about jurisdictional requirements. Um, it's really important that you familiar, familiarize yourself and ourselves with the specific requirements of our jurisdiction for notarizing power of attorneys. These requirements may vary but generally they'll include the signer's personal appearance, valid identification presentation, and the document signing in our presence. I want to tell you that in some states, every state is different on how they um, execute their power of attorneys. Sometimes it requires just witnesses. Maybe it's witnesses unless it's real estate and then you need a notary. Maybe it's just a notary, maybe it's both but your state's gonna have very specific requirements. And so it's important that you go and find what those are so that you can present yourself as a notary who knows what they're talking about when they're doing power of attorney signings. Okay, guys, let's discuss a few tips to ensure a smooth power of attorney notarization process, All right? Number one, familiarize yourself with the power of attorney document ahead of time if possible but ensure the signer does not sign it until in your presence. Number two, request the signer to bring valid government issued identification such as a driver's license or passport. I'm gonna pause right here because I want to just let you know that depending on your state, there may be very, there may be other things you can do to identify your signer. In California, we can use a credible witness if the witness knows the signer and the notary, two credible witnesses that know the signer, but do not benefit from the document and they act as their identification. So keep in mind that depending on where you're doing these notarizations, that person who's signing over their power may not have ID. So have your um, game plan ready for when you encounter that if somebody calls to have a power of attorney signed, specifically like in nursing homes or hospitals or things like that. Sometimes the um, signers don't have their ID with them, okay? Okay, and so number three, stay updated with your jurisdiction's notary regulations to avoid surprises during the notarization process. Notarizing power of attorneys is something that's gonna happen to you if you're a notary at all. We use power of attorneys in so many different situations. We do it in our trust packages. We 
do it in jails. We do it in um, real estate signings. We do it in hospitals and nursing homes. And it's there everywhere. And it will be something that you encounter in your notary business. Um, but we as notaries um, hold a responsibility to follow proper procedures and adhere to our jurisdictional requirements so that we can help maintain the integrity of the legal documents. So I want to also um, tell you guys that if you want a more comprehensive tutorial on power of attorney documents and the execution of the documents, I have a great one module training course available to you and the link will be in the description. In that course, we're going to go over all of the terminology of a power of attorney. We're going to go over the activation of a power of attorney. We're going to go who signs where and what and how. And we're also going to go through some sample documents. There's also some resources in that course that are going to make your research for your jurisdiction way easier. So if you're interested, the link is down below. But like every video, guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video today. And as we explore the world of notarizing power of attorneys, I hope that this guide has provided a little bit of insight to enhance your, notar your notary practice. And if you have any further questions or topics you'd like me to cover, please leave a comment below. And again, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel, for more valuable resources. And until next time, keep up the great work as notaries, and we will see you soon. I will see you soon. <laughs> Bye.